Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be a showcase of some free roam gameplay with the Avengers Endgame Thor suit. Before we jump into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And if you're new here and you're liking the content going up on the channel, whether it's Marvel's Avengers videos like this one, especially with the Black Panther DLC on the horizon, or if you just like some of my reaction videos, videos on Injustice 2, the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy game, whatever it might be. If you like the content on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and as well the notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. Lastly, I wanted to remind you guys, I am sponsored by G Fuel. Get yourself some tubs, shaker cups, start kits cans use that link in the description box below and if you grab yourself something from g fuel use code caboose at checkout with that being said let's jump into this you're seeing on screen right now the mcu suit for thor this is based on his look in avengers endgame although i would say that it's more in line with his infinity war look but in game it says that it's inspired by the endgame look which i don't really see the resemblance but i'm guessing it's just the suit itself is the same one from avengers endgame minus the beer gut and the hair of course another big thing missing which i know a lot of people were hoping for was stormbreaker but from what i understand based on what Crystal Dynamics explained to some fellow creators who cover Marvel's Avengers is that if they were to add Stormbreaker into the game, they would basically have to reanimate the way that Thor uses the axe. They can't just reskin the hammer like they could reskin the shield for Captain America simply because it stays the same shape. It is unfortunate, but I'm not losing too much sleep over it. I think a lot of people are getting up in arms about it, which is a bit of an over-exaggeration in my opinion. I mean, the suit itself looks pretty accurate to whether it's Infinity War or Endgame, and I mean, if you're looking at the Infinity War look, it's almost one-to-one, -one, especially with what they did with the hair and the beard. Plus, I think Thor plays really well in this game. He is one of the more fun characters to play as, so this gets me excited to jump in and play as the character again. The only thing that is a major detractor to this is the same thing that's been a detractor to every single one of the MCU suits added into the game, and that is the price tag being a little outrageous. So again, with this video, the same with what I've done with every video covering the MCU suits, if you don't want to get it yourself, I totally understand. I'll provide you the look in motion and you can make a decision on that yourself. And with that said, I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay so you can check out the MCU suit for Thor in action. If you enjoy the video at any point, drop a like on it. If you like the content on this channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. I've been Caboose and enjoy the video. There are inhumans caught in a standoff up ahead. Backup has arrived. Protect those inhumans. Here we go.
in the vicinity. I've sent their location to your hut. allies is close by and could use some help. There is a chest with gear close by. useful if defeated. sent you. Chest with special resources close to your location. You fall to the son of the Let's get this over with.
bounty hunters are looking for inhumans. Best be quick. in humans. They're being kept in portable cells. You'll have to break them out. Those inhumans need you. Hurry. 